Well, I'll speak in English. I didn't learn Hravatsky. Is someone going to translate? Are you all right with English? There's Runa only and Rampani will translate for me. Okay. I won't speak very long. How long is long? Bhaktisthan Sarasvak Thakur, he, 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 practically he didn't give classes less than two hours. Four hours, five hours, six hours. I won't speak so long. Oma jnana timirandhasya jnana shalakaya chakshurin militam yena tasmai shri gurave namaha nama shrishtam manamapi shachi putram atrasurupam rupam tas yagurdam uruparing maturim goshtavarti radha kundam girivaramaho radhika madhavasha Vande ham Shri Guru Shri Atav Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavang Shri Rupam Sagraja Tam Sahagarna Raghuna Tan Vitam Tam Sajiva Sadvaitam Savadhutang Parijana Sahitam Krishna Taitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagarna Lalita Shri Vishaka Vitam Guru Vaishnava Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I said I won't speak very long. It's been a long day. That's the saying. In English, do you say it sometimes like that in Croatia? You have a say. Actually, the day is the same length every day, but we say a long day means that we've started early, we're going on as late, and we're going on like that. What is a long day or a long night when Krishna? dances with the gopis at night. The night expands to be the length of a day of Brahma. That's long. But for the gopis it seems like a moment. When you're having time goes fast when you're having a good time. And it dry when, when there's suffering it's dragging on long and slow. Anyway we don't want to talk too much about suffering now because it's Krishna Janmashtami. And we do speak about that. This world, as Krishna says, is a place of suffering, dukhalayam. But we can be joyful because it's Krishna's appearance. He came to relieve all suffering. We're in this world suffering. We may feel staying up so late is suffering. Of course, for the non-devotees, 10 o'clock at night, I mean, uh, still early, right, for them. But for those of us who are accustomed to rise early in the morning, we're usually resting by this time. It might seem a bit difficult, especially devotees. They're, they're often working very hard and fasting also. Srila Prabhupada was in New Vrindavan once for Jan Mashtami and so many devotees reported that after the whole day they had the midnight arati and then devotees thought, great, it's over, now we can take prasadam, finished, hurry ball. Srila Prabhupada sat on his Vyasasan and said, read Krishna book from the beginning. So they read chapter one. Prabhupada was sitting attentively, listening to his own book. Of course, it's Krishna's pastimes from Bhagavatam. They listened to that. And there were, there were so many sannyasis sitting there with their dandas around Prabhupada. And you, the dandas were 
going back and forwards as the sannyasis were trying to stay awake, mostly unsuccessfully. And he finished the end of the first chapter and thought to ourselves, ah, oh, no. Prabhupada said, read the next chapter. And it seemed like Prabhupada was ready to stay there all night. After two chapters or maybe three chapters, Srila Prabhupada said, all right, you're all tired, so I'm going to finish now. And the next day again was a big festival. Vyasa Puja, Srila Prabhupada. And they cooked a huge cake and they put it in front of Srila Prabhupada. And Prabhupada said, all right, I'll take a little later. And then that was, the, that was after the whole program all morning. And then Prabhupada went to his place and devotees dived on the cake. And in less time than it takes piranhas to consume a human body, the cake was gone. Prabhupada got back to his house and he said, well, can I have a piece of cake? Oh! We forgot the cake was meant for Prabhupada. Devotees were very young and innocent in those days. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> young and innocent. Some of you remember the early days of Iskon in Croatia. I didn't come until, I can't remember exactly when. 95. You know, 95, eh? 95. Again, it was visa business. Because I was told I can get a... The, the, the embassy in Rome is very favorable. So I submitted my passport there. Then I thought I'd travel around in Italy because I have two passports, British and Irish. So I traveled. And then one Croatian devotee in Villa Vrindavan said, why don't you go to Croatia? I said, okay. Because I was waiting. So they tell me they take a week or two to... So I came, and I went to Rijeka, Daitari was in charge. Said they said we have we have so many devotees, we don't have space. We turn them all away. I said, well, give some to me. So he gave me back to Boris, later to be known as I think that was his name, Gokul Chandra, and Shivananda Sain. I think there was one other also. He became beam, beam saint. Yeah. He, no. Is he here to save his brother? I don't think so. He died a few years later in a car crash. So, Hare Krishna. It's Krishna Jan Mashtami. All the devotees are very happy. The demons are afraid. Actually, I don't think in Croatia the people are very demoniac. Of course, there's animal killing, drinking, illicit sex, and gambling to some extent. But people in general are quite open to our devotees, aren't they? They're quite happy with the devotees. I, I heard some years ago in Pula, this was going back a long time, that the Maharishi something, they wanted to set up a center and people were against it. Said, we already have Hare Krishna from India. They're, they're, they're okay, we don't want you. I heard something like that. May have been misrepresented. Anyway, all kinds of different groups are here. But we're not really a different group, are we? Because we're non-sectarian. Are we? <laughs> Supposed to be. We're all here for Krishna. Well, anyway, I guess it's inevitable that there will be different groups. In one way, you can say it's, it's good. The preaching is expanding. There are different groups. There's, here there's a program going on. Up on the hill, there's something going on. But one thing we can all agree on is Sri Krishna Janmashtami Ki Jai. Right? We're all happy. It's Krishna's Janmashtami. And I think sometimes we should all come together and have, have a big... Oh, next week, right? Next week. 
40 years anniversary. You can all come together and sing and dance and be happy. It's great fortune that Krishna has come to Croatia. Srila Prabhupada didn't personally come. It would have been difficult for him to go. Of course, he went to Russia. That was amazing how he got a visa. Uh, but the movement spread later in what was called the behind the Iron Curtain. Yugoslavia wasn't, it was kind of half behind the Iron Curtain, right? maybe. Maybe it's steel curtain. <laughs> but it was it was much more open society. We're still socialist when but uh people took it up very well. Still there's very good scope for Krishna consciousness. Actually all over the world. It's it's uh something we used to preach about, this world is miserable and people uh, what are you talking about? But nowadays Pretty much everyone's saying this world is miserable. We don't. We don't have to tell them; they already know. We used to talk about a uh, materialistic civilization, and it's, it's failing civilization, and they themselves are talking about it now. So, by their own work, by their own uh, misdeeds, they're, they're making such a situation which is actually very favorable for Krishna consciousness. So we've come, Prabhupada has come, his followers are there. So we're singing Jai Radhe, Jai Krishna, Jai Vrindavan. We're not meant for living in Zagreb or Moscow or New York or anywhere in this world. We're meant for living in Vrindavan. There is a world Beyond this world, everything in this world, when everything in this world is destroyed, that world continues eternally. Krishna is very happy. All his devotees are very happy. There's sectarianism in the spiritual world also. There are different groups of gopis. But that's completely on the spiritual platform. But it does get pretty intense sometimes. But one thing is, they all love Krishna. So we just want to tell everyone that please love Krishna. And chant Hare Krishna. Be happy in Krishna. That's all. Simple message. Hare Krishna. I said I wouldn't speak very long. That was pretty short. Shall I say some more? You can say some more. Say some more. Radha Krishna. Radha Krishna Pranamo Jugala Kisha. What's the next line? Jivane Morani Gati Ar Nahima. That's that's what we have to really internalize if we're going to go there. I have nothing else in life or death than Radha and Krishna, the youthful couple who are simply engaged in pastimes of love. When we, when we really don't have anything else in our life, then we can go there. So it takes a lot of, a lot of training because we've had many, many lifetimes of forgetting Krishna. But this process which Krishna gives, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives, Srila Prabhupada gave, is very powerful for cleaning the heart so that we can go to the spiritual world. At the moment our consciousness is covered so we don't see. It's just like the window is there but it's covered in Thick dirt, so we can't see. So we have to scrub it a bit. Cheto darpana marjanam, cleaning the window. By scrub, scrub, then we can start to see. Oh, it's a little bit clear. I can see the 
and becomes fully clear, we can see through to the spiritual world, then we jump right through and go back home, back to Godhead. We need some help. We need some help because we may think, why should I scrub this window? And it's, it's quite nice living in this dirty, dark room. Or maybe it's not so nice, but anyway, it's too much work to clean, so I might as well stay here. So we need help, we need encouragement, we need the process, there is a process. How will we clean this window? Karma yoga, many, many lifetimes. <laughs> Jnana yoga, oh. Yo, this Ashtanga yoga, here you can chant Hare Krishna. It's magic cleaning process. Cheto Dharpana Marjana. And the whole spiritual world opens up. But we have we have to come to that point. Jibane Marane Gati Arnahimo. I don't have anything else, life or death. As long as we are holding on to our material attachments, then we have to stay here. Ishabnachare Kishe Pabe Radha Krishna. As long as we hold on to our material attachments, how are we going to get Radha and Krishna? So Krishna comes. He gives hope. Otherwise, it was a very bad situation in the world. We're saying the situation in the world is very bad, but it was very bad. Kangsa was there, persecuting everyone, stopping the sacrifices, killing the brahmanas. That's pretty severe, isn't it? No, no place for a good person when Kangsa is around. It was hopeless. Krishna came, he gave hope. Even immediately that wasn't seen. Krishna allowed Kangsa to go on for some time. But he gave hope. By his appearance he gave hope. So we have hope. Krishna has appeared in this Kali Yuga in the form of his holy name. Kali Kale Nama Rupe Krishna Avatar. In this age of Kali, Krishna appears as his holy name. Nam Hoite Hoi Sarva Jagat Nishta. By this holy name, the whole universe can be delivered. Out on the street, there are people are. Enjoying themselves. There's a little bar, they're drinking. We want to change that. So they'll stop drinking, meat eating, all these things, and chant Hare Krishna. It's a lot of work to do. But by this attempt to spread Krishna consciousness, Krishna will be very pleased with us. Krishna will reciprocate. There's so many people can take to Krishna consciousness. Some people are very demonic, but like I say, we don't see so much in Croatia, really hardcore, heavy duty, nasty demons. So it's a good opportunity. So see what you can do. Spread Krishna consciousness. Chant the holy names. Invite others to join. Distribute prasadam. This is Simple process, pleasing process. Parama Karuna Pahunduijana Nitai Gora Chandra Sabha Avata Sarashiromani Kevala Ananda Kanda, the best of all avatars, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda, the most merciful. Their, mo their path is simply joyful. So on Janmashtami, at least we should be simply joyful. Chant Hare Krishna and be happy. Hare Krishna. I'll leave it there. I'm supposed to be back up on the hill before midnight. Usually I, on Jamashway, I often like to visit more than one center. First time I did in Hyderabad. Now if we went to Hyderabad, you could be busy morning to night. There are at least 20 centers. But at that time I went to Hyderabad, Secunderabad, and the night at midnight at the farm. And then uh, 
One time I did Baroda, Vallavidyanaga, Ahmedabad. Another time I started off in, uh, where was I? I did a, in, in central London. Then I did a radio program in Hindi in London. Then I went to Bhaktivedanta Manor. Then I went to Reading, which is west of London. Then Coventry, which is in the Midlands. And Manchester at night. I reached there for midnight, so I had a few. That was, was like six talks on that day. Last year in Velour, I gave about six talks. Six, uh, nine talks I gave. Staying in one, staying in last to last year. Last year I was in Czech Republic. There was only one place. But uh, yeah, two years ago, sitting in one place, broadcasting live, was it? I gave nine talks, was it? Yeah. Including an initiation ceremony. So eight Vishnu Sahasranam talks. Have a long day. So fill it up with hearing and chanting about Krishna. So thank you very much for kindly receiving me. Please forgive all my offenses of commission and omission or whatever. I'm a rough, tough, nasty guy, you all know. There are different approaches in Krishna consciousness, but at least on Janmashtami, we can all say Hare Krishna together. So 364 days we may fight, but at least on Janmashtami, <laughs> we can come together. And it's, it's better not to fight if we can restrain ourselves. Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Hari Bo. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. It's almost time to begin his Vyasa Puja ceremony. We have another 48 minutes according to that clock. Hare Krishna. Yeah, I'd like to. You're always welcoming to me. You've always been so kind to me. <laughs>